You know, mind thinks of awakening as an experience. This is not an experience. Experience means something has to come, you, you experience, and then goes. That is the experience. You, as an ultimate truth, are not experiencing yourself. You are yourself. You are yourself. And knowing yourself is not knowing the way the mind thinks that is knowing. This knowing is is not a mental knowing. It's a being of that. The being of yourself is knowing yourself. Okay? To know yourself is to be yourself. They are not, these two are one. Once you recognize the truth, you be the truth. Yeah, as around, one. As one. one uh, is... Yes. Yes. This is one. This is not two. This is not two. So this unity consciousness happens in here using this body. Okay? Using this body, it happens here. And if that happens immediately, something happens in you. It's gonna, what happens is all of a sudden you see everything is in you. And you are not in the, in the world. The world is in you. That kind of a vision change. Because, you see, as, as this ultimate truth, you all, all of a sudden you notice that I am not only containing this body, but also this space is in me. And, and, and same as this monitor and this everything. Everything that I'm looking right now is in me. So, and then everything is happening in me, not to me. Mm-hmm. Everything is happening in me. And the vision is going to be always like this. It's not, you you never lose this. Once this is, this happened, you wake up in every breath. This is your real vision. You know what is real. But, but also you see the miracle of duality. You see this beauty of the duality. And you will recognize that if there is nobody here in this body as a uh, as this separate individual it is same as that body and yeah. the, the seven billion other body they're all the same so so that you your vision is going to be crystal clear right now you will see this as a body these two are two bodies just like this i, I you know just like yeah. that two bodies they are talking and interacting but this real source is here. See, the real source is here monitoring the bodies. But it's the same source. You know it is the same source. It is not, this is not some conceptual things you ac- agree with, you accept that. It's not like that. Because once you recognize all, all there is is this, that's it. That's yeah. the end of that. That's the end of that. And everybody else is this. So there is no other. There is no other. There is no this and there is no other. No so two, that's no. it. Yes. And, and, and that, that's, that's the end of that. That's the end of that. And the freedom is you recognize who you truly are. And this recognition is like death for the mind. Because all of a sudden your mind has to say yes to something that is nothing. To nothingness. And according to the, if the mind trusts that nothingness based on the meditation, it would jump into that immediately and it will become one with that. You, you trust this emptiness. So, because ultimately you are that, you know, whether you want it or not, whether you accept it or not, whether you recognize it or not, you are this. You know, yes, temporarily you forgot and now the ignorance is, is functioning here. So, but, but, that, that doesn't mean that you lost your true yourself, true self, because your true self has always been here. Uh, so the ignorance of that, the ignorance that I am this body all of a sudden as a person, separate, drops. And, and, and the, the beauty part of this is that a lot of people tell me, how does it feel to be awakened to the truth? I would always say that you... That ignorance is gone. 
So I know what is the truth in here, and I'm living that truth. That that truth, living the truth, is is absolute joy. It just just overlapping to who I am as the truth. It causes this absolute peace and joy in here, because the search, that search that I was seeking for myself, all over the place. Gone.